Today we are looking at the Pento Linux 2025. So this is the latest version of the Pento Linux and Pento Linux is a Gen2 based Linux distribution. Country of origin it's from the Switzerland. So it is based on the Gen2 Linux and the desktop environment you get the XFCE desktop environment. This distribution is used for live USB or live CD uh, penetration testing or uh, security assignment for security assignments. So this is some information about the Pento Linux. And right now the internet is not working in this distribution. I tried everything and here you can see the network manager is not running. And also some of the icons isn't uh, properly working. So it's not a well known distribution also. So it's clearly up to you to decide whether to use this distribution or not. So it's available in 32 bit and 64 bit. And the kernel version you get is the 6.12.4. And my CPU is i5-1240p. Here is my CPU and I'm using 60 GB of virtual disk, 8 GB of RAM. Here is the CPU and I tried to install the fast fetch and the neo fetch and uh, as you can see there is a lot of errors because of the internet connection and I tried everything and it didn't allow me to install or uh, I it didn't even the internet didn't even work. So you don't get even the latest version of the XFCE. But uh, I don't know what version we are. We should be using like a 4.16 or 4.14. I don't know. But uh, I tried everything and it didn't uh, show anything. So I'm just going to close every tab. Let's uh, check what uh, what pre-installed applications you get. So it's for penetration testing. So you should be getting all those applications. I'm not going to open anything here because I don't want to. It may uh, give some. Uh, so sometimes the YouTube will. Uh, uh, give the copyright thing or like uh, not eligible for the uh, money thing monetization so that's the reason i'm not going to open any of the applications i'm just going to show you what applications you get uh, in this distribution so it's like a basically usb uh, you can use it like a live usb or you can use it like a live cd so these are all the applications you get for testing and other things you get basically get the xfc desktop environment other than that i don't see anything fancy or anything Instead of this distribution, there are a lot of uh, well-known distributions like a Kali Linux and uh, like a Parrot Security OS or the Parrot Home Security Home Linux distribution. There are a lot of other alternatives. So it's from the Switzerland. So I don't really uh, think it's like a best option you to try. And uh, the normal user will never try this type of distribution. He, he didn't even they don't even know what is penetration testing and other things. So. I don't think it's uh, for the normal user or maybe for the uh, people who want to try penetration testing and everything will go with the Kali Linux or Parrot OS. I don't think uh, people go with this distribution in my point of view. So and also the internet wasn't working. I tried in the both the virtual machines. I don't know what's the issue. So that's the another drawback or the negative thing here. And basically you should be getting the XFC desktop environment uh, for the alternative. If you ask me, I rather recommend you to go with the Kali Linux or maybe the uh, Parrot OS. They have already have the latest version. Kali Linux 2024 was uh, released like a few uh, like a, maybe a month ago, maybe like that. I made a video on it and also Parrot OS was released like a two, three months ago. So there are still the new versions uh, if you want to try for the penetration testing and also for the security assignments you can go with those type of distributions. So I thought there will be some uh, fancy things or any some different things in this distribution but uh, you basically get same things. You don't get a bunch of applications like a Kali Linux or the Parrot security OS. You get some few applications. So I don't know what to say here. You get the uh, XFC older version XFC. So that's another drawback here. And also a few applications, not the applications, the icons isn't properly working. The network isn't working. So it's not a, like a positive opinion from me because a distribution at least have to uh, have some basic things. So this is the latest version and this is the issue we are seeing. So this is the Pen2 2025 version. And I can't even show you the, uh, let me show you, let me open the browser. You get a bunch of applications. So I accidentally opened some random thing. Let me open the internet browser, which is uh, Firefox. Let's check the version, which version we get uh, in of the Firefox. Let's check it. Let me show you help and about Firefox. And here you should be seeing the ESR version. So let me type in like uh, about support 
or let me show you uh, let me try to open some link here and here you can see we are having trouble finding that site because the internet isn't working so that's the reason now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open uh, i'm going to type in like a about semicolon support let me do that so here we have so here i opened the about semicolon support and you get the latest 6.14 version right now the 6.12.7 is the latest version but you still get the 6.12.4 which is the lts version and here you can see the pen to linux the kernel version and the esr version build id and uh, here you should be seeing some themes and uh, the ram i'm using 8 gb of ram the available ram will be around like a 7.7 .7 and the disk space is 3.8 gb here is like a picture in picture some browser information which is clearly unnecessary for the video so and other things like a mesa you get the 24.2.8 you get some latest things but the internet is isn't working so i don't know how the people going to test it like uh penetration testing and everything even if they want to open some website this is how it's working i don't know what's the issue so, and also this is my first time using this distribution and i never heard of uh, this distribution I made like a 3000 4000 videos of every type of Linux distributions but there are a few a uh, few Linux distros which I never made or I never looked to looked at those distribution so here is the another one x11 the xfc desktop environment so it's from the Switzerland I never thought like uh, Switzerland is main uh, I was using the Proton VPN so I know Switzerland's things so they work properly so in this case i don't know why the distribution isn't properly working so it's okay there will be some issues so here is the mesa information and uh, here is my monitor resolution and there will be some browser information here you can just pause the video and uh, get all those information and the official link i will be providing the official link or the official website in the uh, description itself so there is literally nothing when internet isn't working so I can't show anything and also if I open any of these uh, testing applications sometimes YouTube will trigger and uh, demonetize the video so that's the reason I'm just going to ignore all those things and I'm going to show you the basic I already showed you the basic things and also I'm not recommending this distribution because there are good alternatives which has uh, working everything working so for a normal user a normal user never uses this hacking tools and everything so i'm not going to recommend and uh, this the common basic thing to understand the normal user never use this type of distributions and the people who want to use this distribution i never recommend this distribution because better go with the kali linux or the uh, parrot os and also there are good uh, like uh, this type of distributions you can search it in the google or you can use the chat gpt and everything or else i made a lot of uh, distributions like a tails os there are a lot of distributions you already know all those things like a kodi and it, it's not the kodi it's like a kodachi linux which is i think uh, it was discontinued or i don't really remember because it's been like a months or maybe years i never made that uh, video the last version i think i made like uh, one and a half two years ago and i don't know whether it's uh, still running or uh, maybe discontinued so these are the type of distributions like a kodachi and uh, the kali linux parrot security tails os there are good security operating systems you can go with those type of distributions instead of this distribution so that was the video there is literally nothing so that's the reason my opinion is it's better to go with those type of distributions so that's my main objective or uh, i tested this distribution and uh, those were my thoughts and they, those were my opinions and uh, that's it for the video thanks for watching and also i'll be posting the videos uh, youtube shorts and also i'll be active in the community post and uh, in the comment section also so if you want to subscribe subscribe and uh, turn on the notification other than that i will see you in tomorrow's video let me show you the logger screen you need to set up the password uh, for the pen to linux it's going to provide like a, you need to create a pass you, when you create the password it's going to uh, it's going to be your password username will be the pen to and the password i kept like a pen to only so you should fix whatever the password you want so that was the video thanks for watching Peace out.